So how do you move forward, not just by arrows, not by words, but to a specific character? Well, that's what the F key is for. Hey, how's it going? Today, we are going to be covering the F key in Vim in our very short series called Vim Alphabet, where we cover Vim from A to Z, all the characters of the alphabet. I'm Chantastic, and I'm going to teach you about F today. So let's open up our lorem ipsum file in Vim. Now, we know B and E at this point, which are ways to navigate forward and back using words. But what if I wanted to navigate specifically to this comma? That's where something like F comes into play. I can hit F and then give it the character that I want to jump to. And as you saw, it just goes to that spot. Now, this is incredibly handy, and there's really just nothing like this in a traditional non-Vim text editor. Um, I'm gonna do this again by moving forward, uh, F dot. So this is all fine and good. The problem with F is, is that there's not really a good, um, it doesn't really map to a, a, a word. I, I can't remember what the word, alliteration, or uh, I don't remember. All of them up to this point have had um, albeit sometimes misleading um, names for, for, for the commands, um, this one doesn't really um, connect to anything. Sometimes people think of it as forward to, um, which is good. Unfortunately, you can move back to as well um, using capital, um, capital F, which I'll show you in a second. So forward to doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, really, the, the most sensible one is two because you're actually moving to that character, but it doesn't align with F. Some people think of it as find. Uh, that can be confusing with find and replace um, or the actual search features of Vim. Um, one thing that I kind of use just personally is this idea of fill, like fill the cursor with this character. Um, again, that's not great. Um, but, uh, it, I don't know. I feel like if you can just remember that F is two character, um, that's going to be the best way to go. So, uh, I'm going to hit zero to go back to the beginning of the line and I'm going to hit F comma again to show you that I can go to that comma. Uh, I can go to any character, right? So I can go F C, which will take me to that C F A will take me to the A here. Um, now I can go back as well. So if I hit uh, Shift F, which gives me a capital F, um, I can now hit that comma and it will take me back using using that command, going back to the comma instead of trying to find the next comma. So in recap, F is two. I know, I know. Uh, F is two. It's going to go to a character that you provide. So you're gonna hit F, you're gonna hit the character you wanna go to, and it's gonna jump there. Uh, Shift F for capital F is going to do that character, but look backwards to the left. So if you wanna find some help on F, uh, colon H F will take you to the help doc on that. And it's a fairly simple, simple command. Um, it does have a count component if you are um, feeling confident in your ability to move by counts, which can be helpful in the case where you're looking for a certain character and that character is a vowel and, you know, there's a lot of A's and E's and whatnot in a word. But that's pretty much all there is to F. Um, so once you have got that done, it's a very, very, very handy way to navigate. And again, um, just, you know, pretty unique to this style of editor to be able to jump to a specific character in a um, block of text like this. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow we will be covering in a very small part the G key, which is just, uh, it's kind of the junk drawer of Vim. So we're gonna be covering the, the parts of it that I use the most, and I'll be showing you where you can find more information about that. But again, tomorrow is going to be about G, um, have fun exploring Vim and I'll see you tomorrow.